Oh my god, it's stupid Halo soldiers again. Oh jeez, they're super powered. Halo is back. dumb and it always will be. Give me that. Stupid dumbass Halo soldier. Doesn't even make any sense. Like, why would they be here? <laughs> It doesn't even make any sense! That game takes place so far in the future! They discovered it's time travel, though. So dumb. <laughs> so dumb. I'm still gonna use their weapons. <laughs> but it's dumb. I think you've already used it once, but eh, maybe not. I haven't used this one, I don't think. The 392A1. Ew, those bipod legs do not belong on there. Ew. No? Ew. Why do they put FNFAL bipod legs on the- Alright, whatever, whatever. Bipods are handy, that's why. You just don't understand. You just don't get Halo. You don't get Halo. Master Chief's the coolest ever. You just don't get it. <laughs> Alright, we're, 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 we're trying to check out that house over there. Great! Another bug in search of a windshield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll make our way there. Oh, does that counter actually go down? That's a neat feature, that the counter actually goes down on the gun. With the hood built into the rifle, yeah. yeah. All right, maybe I'll try using this gun for a little bit. We'll see how I like it. Okay. Because I love bullpup rifles. Which is what this gun is. I know most people don't like bullpup rifles, but I absolutely love them. What appeals to you about the bullpup? Uh, that they're very... They're very compact for a full-length rifle barrel. Well, well, we found out what this is, and it's a, it's a settlement. Oh, we found a settlement we could just set things up at. Um... All right, all right. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to live here, I could. Let's clear out the bugs. And set up a recruitment beacon and let somebody else deal with it. Oh, yeah! I got a funny feeling about this place. We should get out of here before the bad guys get back. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Molly is very quickly becoming my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> That's a good spot for it, yeah. Here, what? Uh, I think carrots, because like, not enough places have carrots, you know? Yeah, and chewing on roots, quite tasty. And the vegetables last quite a while. Are carrots technically tubers? I, I think they're roots, which is different. That carrot's just gonna be like, fuck yes, concrete! And that carrot's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm already fertilized by a dead mosquito. It's gonna squeeze you out the window, there you go. Oh man, I don't think I can fit them outside. Bugs are too big to get squeezed out of window. Fuck. Ooh, what's that? Oh! I almost overlooked a board game. Missiles and men. That Jeep has the Davy Crockett on the back of it. Davy, Davy Crockett. The Davy Crockett is also known as the nuclear bazooka. Mm-hmm. Recruitment radio beacon. Gotta hook that up to the chop power generator, and it'll be good. There you there. go. All right. I, I like how it's a Halo gun, but with real-world compensators. We'll do the MB-40 muzzle break. Okay. Uh, leg no legendary effect. Bipod removed. We don't want a bipod on it. Uh, oh my god, it's got a Peck 15 for some reason. No flashlight. <laughs> Here, we'll do the- we'll do the heavy barrel then. Okay. Because then- then the gas tube is actually connected to something. <laughs> We've got, for some reason, a Trigicon SRS. As an option, yeah. Yeah. We've got the Elkin M145. We got the MCS2. We've got the. I don't. I think that might be an actual Halo optic. I'm not positive. Mm. Ammo type. Uh, currently, it's 762 by 51 NATO. Full metal jacket, armor piercing, or full metal jacket, or 5.56 or five millimeter. Oh, that apparently. So it's still 762. Wait, no, that's. Why does it convert it to 8 mil Mauser? <laughs> I... Why does it convert it to 7.92 by 57 8 millimeter Mauser? I thought that maybe you've been a typo, because I've never heard of a 792. 792 is 8 mil Mauser. Okay. I... Okay, whatever. So we've got Halo Gun. Which um, is a semi-auto. Who, uh, who are you? The lady. She's got a fedora. That's why I said m'lady. Mm, yes. Get it? Malady? Is she... Oh, oh, is she a new settler? We've got a new settler already! Uh -oh. And into the pen you go. <laughs> oh, is this what I think it is? I don't know, is it a gunner base? It's kind of dark out. Huh? Oh, yeah, it is. It, it's... Everyone back up, back up, back up. Oh, I daisy chain. Oh, oh jeez! Woo! <laughs> 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 I like this bridge. 
Watts, Watts consumers. consumers. What they make here? Garbage? <laughs> There's a lot of it, maybe. It's like she doesn't even understand that there was an apocalypse. I don't like melee weapons. You know what happens to people holding melee weapons? They get shot. Ow! Also you do. <laughs> Alright, what's inside? Oh. Uh, okay. Place is kind of decrepit. Yeah, kind apart. of falling apart. Yeah. Uh, server status. Server offline. Note from management. I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you to do is turn off the military protocols on the robot shipment we got last night, so we can put them on demo mode in the store. How hard could that be? You know computers. Are you too busy reading comics and playing games? Grow up and be a team player. Oh, Mr. Felix sounds like fine. Such activate a nice demo guy. mode. Who's Wait. ready to have their ass kicked? Oh, I just activated demo oh, mode on military I robots. I am I not a smart man. Let's fix that well, let's kill down. all the robots then. Oh, yeah. How does I don't know what to do with my phone. Yep, lots of robots. Yeah. Lots of robots gonna shoot them all. Mmm. Yeah, gun is, um. I missed my ballistic shotgun. Maybe robots are affected by laser weaponry as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're metallic, shiny, they're plus lasers. You know that's valid, that might be the case. A message. Shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site and the amount we had discussed. Don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are high-grade robotics I'm getting for you. From Malcolm Holmes. Disable military protocols? Dear asshole, I quit. <laughs> nice! I love to see the workers grow a spine. Ah, so my guess is that the guy was like, yeah, disable the military protocols on these things and put them in the mode. Mm, I wish people would stop talking to Darlene. <laughs> We've already cleared out basically everything over there. We'll go here and look in like this area, because I feel like there's got to be more stuff right around here, yeah? All right, all right. We can at least set up Coastal Cottage a bit better. Or is this Coastal Cottage? Yeah, I think it might be. Wow, this place is a super dump. I don't think anybody should live here. All right, moving on then. We can just ignore. Yeah, this that's why. Um, that's why we haven't built it up because nobody should live here. Nah, it's look. At, what am I supposed to do with this? It's a hole. It's a blown out ruin. Yeah. It, it, it's a hole in the. Actually, this is kind of neat. Yeah, this, but then all the water drains down here. So. Oh yeah, that's right. It just it's going to flood the moment it starts raining. Yeah. So never. No one leaves. No one lives here. Yeah. Nobody. Nobody needs to live here. It's this officially marked as a settlement location, but whoever sells here is a stupid moron. Yeah, they're a dumb idiot. Okay, that, okay, well, okay. okay. I wonder who's gonna win, honestly. Gee, who do you think will win? One super mutant versus the Myler Queen. I'm, I have my money's on the Queen, obviously, but then again, I've been oh, surprised. he switched from a laser weapon to a, to a hammer. Maybe he knows something we don't. But He's got the hammer. He's Back got the hammer. Okay, now it's focused okay, on the us. the hammer didn't seem to work. <laughs> no, no. But how does it fare against six of us? Uh, not well. Heads up. You ever wonder what else is out there? I've been out there, boy. There's a whole lot of nothing. Why do you ask anyway? You don't like it here? I don't know. It's just... I got these dreams. <laughs> I want to sail the ocean, meet new people, make my fortune. <laughs> when I was a kid, I dreamt I could fly. The last time I checked, I haven't sprouted any wings. That's not what I meant. I'm just pulling your leg, kid. Look, you know how I feel. I don't ever want you holding back on account of me. If you want to leave, then you have my blessing. I'll be fine. No, it's like you said. It's just a stupid dream. <laughs> Where's the other guy? I We found the... Oh, he's just outside. Oh, they're talking to each other through a window. Life's pretty slow out here, but don't let that fool you. When it wants to move, it'll run faster than a death claw on a motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> can you imagine a death car on a motorcycle? That'd be pretty fucking rad. Yeah, I can imagine him wearing sunglasses. Oh yeah! That'd be radder than my Aunt Phyllis. Never thought I'd see 30, let alone 40. 50? <laughs> well, that's just cruel. Vault 4. Doesn't look like any vault entrance I've ever seen. Um, hello? You're not gonna shoot at us. Alright, that's close enough. Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Um, just exploring, looking for free shit. I know it might look like it, but this isn't some junk town you can strip for parts. We got rules around here. There are places where you can do some trading. We don't tolerate any trouble. Is that Donovan? It's Donovan. Okay. I would like to come in. All right. 
You can come in. Just make sure you're on your best behavior. I'm not really supposed to turn people away unless it's obvious they're trouble. Man, you seem all right to me. How do so? How do you tell if it's welcome obvious? Welcome to Fourville. And before you say anything about the name, don't bother. I didn't come up with it. Fourville. The mayor likes to meet all new visitors, so the town hall should be your first stop. If you have a crime to report, come find me. If you commit crime? a crime, next person you'll be talking to is my rifle. I hope we're clear. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. Pretty strict, got it. All right, let's talk to the mayor of Fourville. I've never been here, this seems nice. Ah, okay, so I have to open the gate. We got another cult situation going on here, what is this? What are you guys praying to? Follower of the vault. Oh, you're praying to the vault. Oh, the vault isn't actually opened, I guess. Uh, okay. Welcome to Fourville. I've not seen you around town before. Are you interested in seeing the Fourville tents? Or perhaps purchasing a souvenir? Okay, what do you sell? We sell samples of dirt from the earth around the tents, certificates of authentication to say you've seen the tents, <laughs> as well as some pre-war knickknacks. Okay. <laughs> Cure. What? All right. What the hell is going on in this place? So, you want the talk? All right. <clears throat> Here goes. More than 200 years ago, the Great War broke out across the world. Yeah. Thousands of people took shelters in things called vaults, like the one behind me. Yeah. When the vaults sealed, they were expected to open up after 20 years. There were some who decided that if they could wait that long, they could find shelter when it opened. George Willis was one such man. Together with his family, he arrived in the entrance cave to Vault 4 on the day of the Great War. Behind me, you can see the very tent he pitched for shelter, made from a recovered log and a sheet of plastic. Wow. It was a far cry from the shelters which would come later. That's, uh, that's a pretty crappy shelter. If you think that's incredible, wait until you hear what happened next. Over time, more refugees began showing up at the vault seeking shelter. Mm -hmm. As more people came, they needed more living space. The early residents of Fourville began to dig out the walls of the cave and used <laughs> reclaimed wood and dismantled vault tech equipment to build houses. Uh, can you take your this finger This process out of the is still ongoing as workers tirelessly dig to create new spaces for houses and maybe find a way inside the vault. Many of us in Fourville still dream that the vault may one day open, including members of the Church of the Four, who you can see often uh, worship in this site. And that's the story of the Fourville Tents. All right. If you want to learn more, you can visit the Fourville Museum or the Church of the Four. Color be impressed, although I thought the vault was going to be accessible. I don't have anything else right now, thanks. We're open 24 hours a day if you change your mind. Cool, great, thank you. Don't mind us, we're going to poke around. The four protects us. Uh, it's a door. If you assume there's a threat on the other side, then maybe. Let's go talk to the crazy people in the weird cult. So this is your official church. Four. <laughs> Just worshiping the number four. Until he opens again, brother. Have you come to learn of the four? <laughs> the four, four. Four, four, four. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you got a bunch of Mario blocks up there with lights on top of them, but let's get the hell out of here. All right. Greetings, brother. Have you come to learn of the four? Yeah, okay, tell me about Vault 4. Vault? I'm afraid I don't understand what... Oh, you mean the four. Vault is the name given to the four <laughs> by the non -believers. When in Rome... The Four is the greatest protector. For centuries, he has watched over our people and will continue to do so until he opens again. God bless the Four. Uh, so what is the Church of the Four all about? We believe in the strength and the protection of the Four. Once, the Four was open. Mm -hmm. And people came from miles around to seek its great virtues. The Four grew angry with the people for taking so much from it and never giving back. It closed its doors forever, promising to open them after 20 years. The people waited, but it never opened again. We are waiting still. Has it been 20 years yet? So you regret sitting here doing nothing but waiting? 
The Christians of old waited more than 2,000 years for their Christ. I think we can wait 200. All right, I got nothing else. Until he opens again. Yeah, until he opens again. I'm not joining his religion. I'm not doing it. I'm no. Not. I'm not. There's a bobblehead in there. No! We gotta I can get, see it. We gotta get in there somehow. We have to figure out how to find the... We gotta find the key to that. That, that, that's, it's not negotiable. We have to get inside. Oh, that's right, we gotta go talk to the mayor. Mayor Sanders is getting my vote. Is there an election? Do you guys have elections? Whoa, okay, it's actually a little bit bigger in here than I thought it was gonna be. All right, all right, hello. Hey there, are you new in town? Welcome to my shop. You'll find everything you need here. Weapons, ammo, meds, junk. We've, uh, got a pretty good Geiger counter? <laughs> do, uh... Okay. Do you have a Geiger counter? I have a Geiger counter built into my Pip-Boy. Oh. Alright. Suppose you won't be needing one for me, then. Cool. Have fun. Oh! Uh, hello? Nigel Healy Hutchinson, 12th Earl of Dunamore. Why, hello, young man. <laughs> Welcome to Knocklofty House. Well, not the real one, but it will have to do for now. Uh, what do you mean by that? Why, this is merely a poor facsimile of my ancestral home. One day, I will return there and take up my seat, which is mine by birthright. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Who are you? Nigel Healy Hutchinson, 12th Earl of Dunhamore. <laughs> well, not yet, anyway. Heir apparent. So I often go by my courtesy title, Viscount Surrydale. Okay, that's a cool name. Oh, why, thank you. I'm rather proud of it. Nigel is a strong family name, and our surname can be traced back hundreds of years. I'm really impressed with your never-ending slab of meat and also your mini machete. It is quite literally a machete that was made tiny. It's no, it's 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 a cooking knife. Yeah, but the model is a machete <laughs> that they made tiny. All right, cool. How ex how how exactly do you uh, plan on doing that? That's the beauty of it, young one. Listen closely, because I'm going to tell you a secret. Uh huh. I'm going to get home by. Lying there. In a marvelous flying contraption? My family has a grand history of aviation. Uh, so I've built my own plane in an area I excavated myself. Can I see it? Come, come. I'll show you. Yes! Oh, yes! Thank God! I've got to see it. <laughs> Molly? You having, you having fun there, Molly? What, what you doing, Molly? Uh, Molly, I might I might need you to move. Oh, never mind, never mind. He's got it. He's got it. Nope, no. He's, he's confused. He's, uh, very fascinated watching this cheerleader stab this pile of meat. Sorry, I'm sorry I had to do that, but he- he needs to- there we go. Okay. Okay. Show me the flying machine! Oh. Holy fuck! Is this- is that a makeshift stealth bomber? What is this? You built a UCAV? <laughs> oh no, it actually has a cockpit. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, dude. I mean, it's it's not that great, but... it The fact that he made it this far, this is incredible! What is a UCAV? Uh, unmanned combat aerial vehicle. It's like the same shape as one. Oh, okay. It's like a flying wing design. I mean, the fact that you made it this far... She actually has a jet engine! Oh wait, no. Is that just a cardboard cutout? This is Margaret. Marvelous, isn't she? Yeah. This is how I'm going to get home to Ireland and claim my rightful seat as the Earl of Dunhamore. Y you made this yourself! Of course I did, young one. My family has a long tradition of aviation and the engineering skills to go with it. I'm Tallinn. <laughs> For all her beauty and perfection, Margaret has but one flaw. She needs nuclear fuel. And she's a thirsty girl. <laughs> Say, I believe that. That gives me a good idea. You want fusion cores? How course? would you like to earn yourself a bit of pocket money, young one? 
I love pocket money. There are all kinds of sources of nuclear fuel in the Commonwealth. All far too dangerous for an old man like me, but perfectly suited for a young one like yourself. If you could bring some back to me while I gave Margaret her finishing touches, I'd be most grateful. You want us to bring you back nuclear fuel, huh? How are you going to get this out? <laughs> Didn't really think that through, did he? The door is very small. You're going to cut the wall? Also, you need to have this place supported, man. It's like just asking to come caving down on you. Actually, I don't know enough about what that's made out of. All right, well... Why, hello there. Yeah, I'm back. How goes the nuclear fuel hunt? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if this is going to work. It won't work if you take that attitude. You just have to have a little optimism is all. Believe in Margaret. Now, do you have my fuel? We haven't left to get it yet. No. I, I'm still looking for it. Then you'd best make haste and search for it. Without that fuel, I cannot claim my inheritance. Okay. Retrieve the nuclear fuel. Show on map. Oh, the mass fusion disposal site. All right, well, we've already been there. Before we talk with the mayor, we'll build up our rapport. That way, it will make a good first impression. Yeah. And they'll give us the bobblehead. I hope you're keeping out of trouble. Yeah, doing my best. We always will. Your ear is real weird, man. If you're talking to me. You must have a crime to report. What is it? His right ear is damaged badly. Uh, so what's the security like around here? Now you're asking questions I'd like to answer. Fourville security is in tip-top shape. When I got here, is in shambles. But a bit of military discipline whipped him right into shape. <laughs> what army were you a soldier with? Ah, uh, this was a long time ago. I lived out west. It was all very boring, really. Just filing work. But it was discipline. You better believe it. I was in the army. You were, <laughs> and I'm sure you appreciate that sometimes the reality of service aren't as glorious as they look in the posters. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he knows us so well. Yeah, it it sucked. Seems no matter what you do, innocent people get hurt. I left all my army days behind. And I'd appreciate if you didn't mention our little chat to anyone, veteran to veteran. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, whatever. Guns! Guns, guns, guns! I see guns! It was nice talking to you, Donovan Slash Mouse. I saw a poster for guns. See? Up there. Guns, guns, guns. I've got some stuff you might want to know. Nope. Don't care. Everything here is made with care and love. Don't care. I want guns. Guns, 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 Always Security. nice to meet a new you. customer. Name's Mike. Just Mike, not Michael or Mickey. No surname. Just Mike. Hey, Mike. Got that? It's a good name. You want guns, I've got guns. If you want work, I've got work. What'll it be? Oh. Guns, please! Only the best. What do you got? What do you got? 10 mil binoculars. 1911. MP412. Uh, 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 uh. Sadly, it looks like we've already seen most of these weapons. No! Yeah, nothing new. All right. Fine, I'm done. I'm gonna go get nuclear material. Yeah, we'll get that and then come back. Then we'll do other stuff. No! Are you trying to kill yourself or something? Yes! He's hoping that he responds with better weaponry. Okay, so we're back. Yes, this is where that woman got baptized and turned into a ghoul. Yeah, I remember that. So this place is already cleared out. Now, instead of being a woman I with... something. No, you don't. No, mutants are back. Instead of being well, a woman with a brain tumor, now she's a ghoul with a brain tumor. Super mutant. She won't stop mutating. And he's running away. Oh, I go to drown myself in the ocean. I bathe in the waters of life. Bathe in the waters of life. Hey, buddy. Nuclear fuel. Oh, we had it on his person, did he? Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have anything else good, though. All right. Ooh. You're starting to glow. It's completely normal background radiation. Perfectly normal background alpha, beta, and gamma radiation in your body. You've got so much radiation, you'll have to start inventing new Greek letters. Yeah. I have delta radiation. I have omega and omicron radiation. Goodness. <laughs> Boris! I mean, Nigel. Why, hello there. 
How goes the nuclear fuel hunt? Oh, I got it right here, my man. Oh, that's fantastic. As soon as I top up the tank, Margaret and I can begin our journey. Why don't you come with me? We can share the treasures of my inheritance. To fly? Like, go with you to wherever it is you're going? Are you sure this is going to work? Come now. It sometimes seems as if you have no faith in me at all, young one. I don't. This is going to work. I'm sure of it. All right. Let's see what we need to do now. Yes. We'll need to get the fuel in. And then we can take off. You say that. Darlene is shadowing him, trying to learn everything she can. Wait a minute. To fly the plane, I'm going to need to... Oh. Oh, curses. <laughs> yes. You damn, damn and blast. <laughs> yes. How the blazes am I going to get it out of the cave? Yeah. Curse it all. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. Confound it all. How could I have been so stupid? Well, now what? I'm going to have to start all over again. Move Margaret outside piece by piece. Leave me in peace now. I need to contemplate my failures. Okay. okay. That's always fun, taking inventory on all your failures. Yeah, you have fun with that, man. I don't even know what to say to any of this. This whole thing just seems like a massive... It's not even a comedy of errors, it's just stupidity. Maybe the other people of the town will have better idea of what they're doing. Yeah, maybe they'll be slightly smarter. Oh. Man, I got so much miscellaneous junk that I couldn't... Why can't I get rid of this shit? These keys, yeah, they didn't even give me the option to get rid of the keys. I guess it's keys like, just... why Why didn't they put the key ring in this game like they did in every other Fallout game? Yeah, I where know. the key just goes on it. I know, right? 